sorry, my uh, computer timed out. I forgot that I need to move the mouse once in a while to keep it going. So this is the second part of this video. Oh, brother. Okay. So um, anyway, let's do number six on page 300. She and he bought a new book. It is, whose is it? It's theirs. Number seven. That poem is by Emily Dickinson. It is whose poem? Her poem. Number eight. That poem is by Emily Dixon, Dickinson. The poem is hers. Number nine. This one is by Robert Frost. The poem is whose? His. Number ten. Pick the correct form. Can, you, can this possibly be your signature, which one do you want? The second one. Number 11, the envelope is missing its contents. Which one do you want? The second one. Number 12, have they picked up their mail yet? Which one do you want? The second one. Let's go over to page 301, number 13. Pick the correct pronoun. The library, or 13, in 1812 we lost the library. Whose nation's library burned? Well, we started with we, so what pronoun do we want? In 1812, we lost the library. Our nation's library burned. Number 14, Thomas Jefferson helped. He sold whose books? His books. Number 15, there were about 7,000 items. What filled the library? The items, what pronoun do we use instead? They, they filled the library. Okay, so um, let's do a little bit of whoo, pronoun fun here. I guess you could call it that. I'm going to uh, turn this to my document camera. Okay, so we're going to fill in the blank with a either a personal or a possessive pronoun as soon as I can find my pen. I don't know what happened to that. We'll use a pencil. All right. So the example. If I tell a falsehood, then I lie. Number one. A shop belonging to you is... store. If the bill is paid by them, then they pay. Neckwear belonging to me is my tie. See that or not? Let me uh, do this. Is that better? I don't know. All right. If something is understood by us, then we see. The test belonging to him is. is made by me, then, what's our pronoun? Made by me, then I try. The rose belonging to us is, what pronoun goes with us? The rose belonging to us is our flower. If you're taller than before, if you are taller than before, then you what? Grew. When horses speak, what pronoun we use for horses? Then they may. The 
the fruit belonging to them is, what pronoun will go with them? The fruit belonging to them is their hair. If your watch stopped working, what would pronoun would go with watch? If your watch stopped working, then it, what'd it do? It stopped. It quit. The tall, slender building belonging to us, what pronoun would go with us? The tall, slender building, building belonging to us is our tower. If you rode in a jumbo jet, then you flew. And last one, the gloves belonging to the baseball team are the team is not a the, is not um the team is an it. It's what? It's knits. All right, that was kind of silly. All right, let's get back where we were. All right, your assignment, let me uh, get the lights back on. Your assignment, I've listed there for you in Google Classroom, but it's page 337. So turn there now, and let's take a look at it. I'm going to ask you to do the whole page. And it says write personal or possessive for each underlined pronoun. So let's do number one. They've underlined the word I. My brother and I work in a newspaper office. Is that a personal pronoun or a possessive pronoun? Well, you can see it's not possessive. It's not up here anywhere. So it must be a personal pronoun. All right, now I want you to also tell me, besides that, I'm adding on to the directions, I want you to tell me also if it's first, second, or third person. So, look back at your chart. I, it's first person. Personal pronoun. All right, let's try number two. We have worked there for three months now. So, we can find we over here, so we know it's personal and it's first person as well. So you'll write, we first personal. Um, then let's go down to number eight in the next section. You're doing the same thing, but this time I want you to tell me what person and if it's singular or plural as well. So let's do number eight. This one has a bunch of them. She told us about it last week and then we told him. Well, you've got five pronouns in there. We've got she, us, it, we, and him. So when you do your assignment, I want you to do this. You're going to say she, third person, singular, personal. Three things you got to write there. Us, first person, plural, person, and it's personal. It, a third person singular, it's personal. Uh, we, first person plural. And them, or no, sorry, him, third person singular. So they're all personal. All right, you're going to do the rest of them like that. Down in the bottom section, uh, it says, write correct if the sentence has no errors. Whatever is wrong, you can just type the word wrong that's wrong and put it correctly. So number 15, you're always racing against time. The error is your. It should be Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. So on your Google Doc, you just type Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. All right? Let's, that's it for today on this lesson. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope this works. We'll see. Uh, hope to see you guys again. Bye-bye.